Hello guys, and this is the top ability mods that you need to be using in your playthroughs in Soul Ash 2. So starting off at number one, we have Geomancy. So Geomancy is a mod that you can download from the Steam Workshop, and you get all the way up to levels 50 on this. So you get some cool abilities on this. So far I've only got to level 17, but so far I've unlocked Stone Bolt, so you can throw a nasty looking serrated stone towards your foe. We've got Bog, which is an area effect ability. And next we've got Mold Earth, so you gain the shovel tool so you, don't, you haven't got to equip a item. Next up I've got Stone Skin, which is a defensive ability, which in case your skin was stone, increasing your physical resistance, but it also lowers your speed. And then as you progress, you've got other things like Acid Arrow, you've got Durability, so your max health gets increased, so it's more like a defensive ability. So let's go and take out a few enemies using this ability, so you can see what it's like. What we got over here? We've got a baboon and we've got a snake over there. So we can throw a rocket there, dealing five damage. We will encase our skin. So as you can see, we've got the buff up here, stone skin. Physical resistance gone up by eight, but we will move a lot slower. We've also got the bog, which will slow down enemies who stand in that pit. Let's just quickly take out some of these enemies. That is a really cool mod. If you get it up to level 50, it can be very useful, especially defensive wise when you get into like the late game. Do stone skin again. Let's put a bog on these because they are doing a pretty high damage. I mean, as it is on this playthrough, I haven't got any. I've only got a copper knife at the minute, so I'm not really dealing any damage. But it's a really cool mod. If you can get up to level 50, I think it'll be really good for the late game. Next on the list, we have Electromancy. So this is a really cool mod. This one's really, really strong it's really overpowered it's probably one of my favorites so with this you get different abilities as you load up level up the skills it does go to, to level 50 so the starting one you've got lightning bolt which shoots a lightning bolt from your finger at a straight line we've also got tempest which pushes the enemies back and while also dealing damage we've got explosive potential so you attack to have additional five percent chance to critical hit and i've got chain lighting which is really cool because it just about the lightning bounces off of their enemies it can i think it bounces up to four times yeah up to four times on different enemies and as you as you progress you've got shocking grass you've got Stormbringer, you've got summon a ball of lightning you've got fog cloud call the storm you've got really cool abilities this one's really really good so if you do want to turn your enemies into dust then this is probably the mod for you so let's try it out so here we go so we've got sandworm here so we can hit him with a lightning bolt there we go dealing 16 damage the tempest will push him back or dealing a little bit of damage but it just gives you a bit of breathing room and then we've also got the chain lightning so if i hit that it should chain to others there we go so it bounces up to four times i haven't got a really good weapon so i'll probably just stick to the abilities at the minute but it does really does quite a lot of damage so it pushes all them back just gives you a bit of breathing space you chain the lightning that's really good Finish taking the rest of these out. There we go, that one's done. Let's push them back. I'll just need to rest. So it's really good for keeping your enemies at bay as well if you don't want them to come close unless they can hit you with a long range attack while these are doing hit and move poison damage. I'll probably just back up a little bit. I haven't got a really good weapon or any armor. I've just uh, got the ability at the minute just for this. Just for this list so let's take these out let's do some chain lightning on that one let's push them back a little bit back off some abilities regen there we go i've just gone up another level so it's hitting me for quite a bit of damage at the minute so let's just back off and let's finish him off you get quite a uh, range on these attacks as well so there we go so i've took them out and I did level up another skill point for Electromancy. So at the minute I am on level 16. So just go all the way up to level 50. You will start off if you choose it at the beginning. So you will be able to level it up to level 20. After that, you will need to find books to actually research to get beyond level 20. But it's a really good mod, really powerful. If you want to try out the Electromancy, go for it. It's really, really strong. Next up on the list is research. So with this ability, it allows you to craft 
um, box, recipe box. So instead of finding an NPC and paying money to be able to expand your knowledge, you can actually just craft the books yourself. So if you pick that, you start on level five. So with that, you get the book of research, book of agriculture, book of adventuring, athletics, and it also gives you the recipe to actually make a book and paper. So the way this works is you will get these in your crafting menu, but first, if you click on it, you will need a book. But to create a book, you will need four pieces of paper. So we've got the recipe for paper also, which we also need wood. So if you haven't got any wood, you'll have to buy some wood like I've just done. Or if you do start off with an axe, you can go chop down some wood. That'd be the easiest way. So with the paper, we'll just select six of them and we'll craft six paper. There we go, we've crafted six paper. So now we should be able to craft a recipe book. Also, we'll need some leather which I haven't got, so I'll have to go out leather, but that's how, how it works anyway. So with the paper you've crafted, so I can select the paper, you need to go out there, get some leather, maybe get that from cows, pigs, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then you can craft the recipe book. And then with that, you can select one of these skill books and use that book to craft it. So once that's crafted, that will be in your inventory. Then all you've got to do is click on it, use it, and then that will add the points for that skill so if i picked adventure in my adventure in will go up to level 21 so it only goes up in one so you will need to craft more books but that's how that works it's just a really easy way of getting around the potential cap on this without having to spend money at npcs so next on the list is a skill called invention so this is a pretty new ability that's just been added onto the workshop so this gives you the ability to craft all these weird and wonderful creations so you start off on level five so you've got the recipe for a magic banana and then the next one is a banana rang which is a nutritious snack but it can also be used as a weapon so you will need the magic bananas to craft that we've got a blindfold which is pretty cool that will give you full vision in vision and negates daytime vision so that's quite early on as well that's only you get that after level three so that's pretty cool but you will need not two eye patches and material for that you also get the saltpeter and you also get holy water but as you progress on this so to progress you'll have to craft these items this goes all the way up to level 20 and then you will get some weird and wonderful weapons so you can get an iron bomb you can get a strange wheel you can get a boomstick which is a bolt launcher which is deals 14 16 true damage that's going to be pretty powerful you've also got a dwarven pick which acts as a miner and a hammer at the same time so all these weird wonderful creations which are pretty cool. So if you do want to play as an inventor and create all these weird and wonderful inventions, then this is the one for you. And finally, the last one on the list is this one, Overlord's Call, which is basically necromancy. So with this, you unlock the five skills when you pick it. You start off with summon bones, spear skeletons, summon some skeleton archers. We've got create bones, so you sacrifice some of your health to actually pick up a bone, because you will need humanoid bones to actually all these creatures up and we've also got the recipe for a tier two humanoid bones and that progresses as you go up the higher the tier the higher the skeletons and lastly we've got the overlords men so you can actually heal the beings that you summon so let's try this out so we've just got a little bat cave here by the look of it we've got a little bat here so let's summon some creatures so you just click on the ability so we've summoned two spear skeletons there we've got two archers over there also there we go and they will actually fight for you so i could just sit back once this comes to attack me wake it up there we go it's woke up all you got to do is sit back and watch them do it so you can actually summon like your own undead army which is a pretty cool mod i think also got some other guys here so once they see me come to attack me there we go I'll just move out of the way and let my skeleton army deal the damage. And then you can summon more of them as well. So I'm not sure what the limit actually is on this. So you can actually have like an undead army just fight for you. So they'll just take out all of these. So they do all the work for you. Which is pretty cool if you want to play as a necromancer and summon all these undead skeletons to fight for you. Like I said, the higher the tier skeleton, the more powerful they are. If you have a quick look at the skill tree once you unlock these tier three then you will need it says the item cost humanoid bones tier two but you will need to craft them 
in there so you get tier two you get the recipe for it so with that you will need humanoid bones so i've got human i haven't got enough at the minute but you need to craft some of them and then to use them to use to summon the higher skilled skeletons so that's how the necromancy works so far with this mod i do believe they are putting necromancy into the game into the uh, vanilla game soon but this is just like a mod for it so it's just like a little starter cap as things are what to come i'm not sure the actual base game will be like this but it's pretty cool mod pretty fun as you can see all my skeleton armies doing all the damage i don't have to do anything i can just run around and they will take these out for me there we go and then we can loot them we've got a nice club there we've got some with the archers as well they will drop the arrows so you can actually pick them up also you don't have to give them back to them they will have infinite armor on it but if you pick them up obviously this helps with your carpentry so unless you're using a bow and arrow you can use them yourself and then you can always salvage them and that'll boost your carpentry skill up that's a really cool mod go and check it out if you want to play a necromancy and i think that's it for the abilities guys i really appreciate you for watching i will keep you updated on any more new mods that are coming out so make sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one